Safi mtazamaji kwanza kabisa nataka tuanze kwa kumwish happy birthday mama Margaret. Leo ni siku yake kubwa kabisa yes. Ni tunakata keki wapi lakini uh, Jumamosi April tarehe nane ndo siku ya kuzaliwa kwa our first lady hapa of course uh, miongoni mwa wanawake ambao ni watulivu sana. Hawana mambo mengi kielele kama Uh, hawa watu wengine bwana ye hana kabisa alikuwa mtulivu uh, kazi nadhani ilikuwa inaongea zaidi kazi ilikuwa inatoa sauti zaidi na leo hii uh, tukiweka kabisa hawa first ladies wote tuangalie nani kwa kweli alifanya kitu hatuwezi tukakosa kumpa nambari ya kwanza kabisa mama Margaret kwa sababu Linda mama nadhani almost kila mtu anaifahamu Linda mama bwana kuna kipindi ambacho wanawake bwana hapa Kenya walitaka kujifungua basi hauna pressure kwa sababu ndio hivyo mama Margaret alisha tupea uh, njia nyingine ya kuhakikisha kwamba mtu anajifungua uh, kwa namna ambayo inatakikana so linda mama ili play part kubwa sana kwa jamii and uh, i'm very very sure mpaka sasa hivi watu wengi wanaimiss imagine bwana ulikuwa unajifungua bure eh? sasa mwaka huu eh, kama una ujauzito inabidi utengeneze pesa and uh, vitu kama hivi unajua huaga vinakupata bwana hata una shilingi moja unanelewa so inabidi hata unahangaika and sasa hivi tunavyozungumza kuna vifo tu kadhaa unakuta mtu hawezi akaangaliwa vizuri kwa sababu hana pesa mtu muda wa kujifungua umefika na ashindwa kuelewa atafanyaje eh, kwa sababu anaamini uh, akienda hospitali uh, kutakuwa na namna unanelewa yani daktari anataka hela anataka pesa so hiyo linda mama ilikuwa imeshatolewa uh, so tutamkumbuka kwa mambo mengi sana hata kando na utulivu wake ndio hivyo linda mama and uh, ni miongoni mwa wanawake ambao siku zote walitaka tuwe pamoja and we appreciate uwepo wako uh, mama Margaret so happy birthday jamani tumshow love kupitia hapa chini kwenye sehemu ya comments tumwambie happy birthday uh, mama Margaret eh, endelea kuishi endelea kuwa na pesa nyingi wacha hao waone wivu hawatawamaliza hata wakifanyaje au so bwana mimi naitwa Mr WJ bwana asanteni sana wote ambao mnaendelea kufuatilia double updates and kwa wale ambao tunakutana for the first time bwana nawaomba kitu kimoja tu mjiunge na familia ni rahisi kabisa unachotakiwa kufanya ni kusubscribe alafu kumbuka ukisubscribe utakuwa umejipa nafasi poa na nzuri kabisa ya kuendelea kupata taarifa nyingi na mpya kila wakati za ndani kabisa zinadai kwamba William Samoe Ruto anapanga kukutana na Raila Odinga ili wamalize utofauti wao na taarifa inasema kwamba according to the, to the insider Ruto's main concerns were a stable political environment and a thriving national economy that would benefit everyone in the chain the insider explains why Ruto is considering handshake with Raila unajua unajua hawa ni vijana and uh, siku, so, siku zote kijana anaweza kafanya chochote ambacho anataka kufanya ili mambo yake yaende sawa you understand but miongoni mwa vitu ambavyo anadaiwa anatamani sana kufanya William Samoe Ruto ni kumaliza utofauti wake na Raila Odinga ili naye awe na environment nzuri ya kufanya kazi unanelewa mtazamaji wangu nadhani ndio kitu kikubwa zaidi and watu wengi tu nimekuwa nikiwaambia hapa pressure uh, mtu ambaye pressure inaendea sana ni William Samoe Ruto yeye ndo president unanelewa and yeye ndo anatakiwa kuangalia vitu vinaendeleaje kama vinaendelea vibaya then yeye ndo watu watamlaumu na vitu kama hivyo mtazamaji wangu lakini watu wengine hawajakuwa wakiona hivyo so i think pia kutoka kwa pressure ambayo anapewa na watu wengine amekuwa ki songa na upepo wao kwa kusema kwamba o oh, eh, hata uweke sufuria kwa kichwa ni maneno fulani ambayo yanatakiwa tu kusemwa na watoto wadogo naendelea vijana wadogo wadogo ambao bado hawaelewi umuhimu wa nchi hawaelewi au uh, muhimu wa watu kufanya kazi pamoja na vitu kama hivyo mtazamaji wangu so wandani kabisa hapa nadai kwamba kuna uwezekano mkubwa kabisa William Samoe Ruto ma um, tamanio yake kabisa ni kukutana na Raila Odinga ili naye hata akifanya kazi anakuwa anafanya kazi bila stress bila pressure nyingi sio kama sasa hivi you understand sio kama sasa hivi imagine wewe unafanya kazi watu wako street kule oh si nini, nini mambo yanakuwa mengi hata wewe mwenyewe unachanganyikiwa haujui ufanyeje haujui kitu ambacho unaweza kufanya ili uh, mambo yaende sawa so nitakusomea hapa tu kidogo taarifa hii uh, kwamba um, president william ruto's chief economic uh, advisor david Lee, 
on Saturday, April 8, revealed that the head of state was considering a handshake with Azimio uh, Laumojan leader Roy Lodinga despite having advocated against the same. But in a series of statements, the and he added that a handshake was possible, especially considering Kenyan state of the economy. And of course, sasa hivi naweza nikasema kwamba economy uh, yetu kabisa ipo sempa baya. Uh, hiyo inabidi tukubaliane. You understand? Economy yetu ipo sempa baya sana. Na mwisho siku uh, tunatakiwa kuangalia ni namna gani hii hapa tutaiavoid kwa sababu tukiendelea ku assume kama wanavu assume William Samuel Ruto then ndo kabisa itatuweka simpa baya sana unanipata vitu vita songa mbele tutakwama unanipata eh, kama unga sasa hivi tunanunua 230 then trust me tutakuja kuinunua 250 vitu vita kwa vina songa and hata wao wenyewe wanakubaliana na sisi kwamba vitu viendi unanipata yani vitu visongi kwa sababu angalia angalia wewe mwenyewe pesa haipo watu hawajalipwa Eni mambo ni mengi tu ambayo yanatakiwa kushughulikiwa uh, but again unaona kabisa wao badala wa, waangalie hapa tutawasaidiaje hawa wananchi wao wanaendelea kuongea vibaya sijui nini mfanyeni mtakachofanya au oh, sijui nini endeni street kama mnaona ndo kitu kizuri na mambo mengi tu ambayo mwisho siku haitusaidi uh, lakini pia According to Ndi, Ruto's main concerns were a stable political environment and a thriving national economy that would benefit everyone in the chain. I have news for you. The first obligation of our government sir, is survival and political stability. The more the dynasty is fomented, the more we will have to spend on political capital. And uh, Hapo Kiangalia D was, uh, D was responding to concerned citizens who demanded answer on a state of the economy, especially in the wake of delayed uh, salaries for public servants and employees in uh, parastatals. If push comes to shove, handshake is always an option. How much do you think that will cost? D asked those who are trolling Ruto's uh, government. So, unajua D, kuna kitu mba chale kizungumzia juzi and uh, watu wakashangaa sana you understand watu ikawa wanashangaa sana uh, kuona ndiye anasema kwamba uh, the reason why wale uh, cs uh, wanaruhusiwa kuendelea na kazi zao ni kwamba hawajakuwa na impact kwenye uh, tukizungumzia masuala ya uh, budget au pesa ambayo wanatakiwa kuli, uh, kulipo na vitu kama hivyo yani for example kama nilikuwa nakupa hamsini but sasa nimekuongezea watu wengine ambao labda wote unatakiwa una kutumia 80 that's 80 bob ndiye anasema kwamba there is no change like how cs hamsini kuji, kujiongeza kwenye list ya timu ya william samoruto anasema kwamba there is no hakuna uh, change yoyote ambayo ime, imeonekana unanelewa msamaji wangu eti hakuna change ambayo ime, 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 imeonekana hapo so hapo ndo tulikuwa tunashindwa inakuwaje tena uwezo kutambia kwamba how cs um hamsini na ambao mwisho siku wanalipwa like 100 and, and something thousand no, not even 100 but not 100 i'm sorry not even 100 i think ni over 500,000 imagine 50 people being paid 50,000 uh, i mean 500,000 each half a million each wana dhani hiyo ni hela ngapi so hapo david ndia hizi akatuambia kwamba hakuna uh, hakuna mabadiliko like hakuna kitu ambacho kimekuwa affected uh, mtazamaji uh, mtazamaji wangu lakini pia um, and as I'm in, Ruto, in Ruto's defense, Nick claimed that the 50 CA salaries and allowance did not constitute a significant part of the national wage bill. Sinime kwambia, ojo kwa upande wake ndi, anatoa reason kwamba hakuja kuwa na, hakuja kuwa na, ni kama kukuwa na change yoyote, like, vitu ni kama vile vile, tu hata wakiongezo, hata wakitolewa, but ukweli ni kwamba kuna uzito mbao wanatuletea. Uh, kwenye uh, serikali sivi lakini pia na namna ambavyo hayo situation ambayo uh, tupo mtazamaji wangu so uh, wacha tusubiri ta, tuone itakuwaje mwona ndi pia uh, hapo hapo ikawa nasema kwa mba <laughs> eti wanaitwa nani wale wafanyikazi wa serikali unajua ishu kubwa me, story kubwa kabisa mikuwa ni kwa nini uh, wafanyikazi wengi wa serikali hawajalipwa you understand KBC, IBC um, wapi tena jamani uh, kwenye counties uh, wafanyikazi ambao wanapatikana kwenye counties na nini hawaja lipo so ndo imekuwa ni mjadala kubwa zaidi uh, watu ikawa nasema kwamba inchi imesota unanelewa una hatuna pesa hatuna nini so inabidi 
inabidi mambo ya umane kama yalivyo umana but ndiye ameijibu hiyo pia uh, kwa kusema kwamba the only problem ambayo ilikuwa ni kwamba hela nyingi ambayo iliyokotwa walitumia kulipa deni <laughs> Lakini hawa watu waga wanatupima sana akili, right? Eti walitumia kulipa deni. Eti kulikuwa na deni nyingi, sijui uhuru aliacha na nini nafuta kama hivyo. But we know, we know. Siku siku yote I think um naweza kusema kwamba any time eh any time wamejikuta au wamekutwa sehemu mbaya a uh, reason ambayo mara nyingi wanaleta ni uhuru Kenyatta like uhuru Kenyatta did this, did that and mwisho siku ndo njia ambayo wanatumaga wanatumiaga kuhepa kwa sababu siwezi nikakuuliza the reason why vitu haviende vizuri eh, kwa kwa nyumba yako ambayo we ndo ulijenga unaanza kutuambia oh sijui oh, watu fulani sijui ndo walifanya nini no it's wow ni wao kabisa wanachangia hivi vitu vyote vinatokea so kama wao wanashindwa kulipa then there is no reason ya kulaumu mtu kama uhuru kinyata in fact siku hizi kitu kimoja ambacho kinanifurahisha ni kwamba watu washawazoea mauongo ambayo uh, uh, wanajaribu kutuletea hapa watu tayari washawajua and uh, we are like nyinyi tunawapima tu and uh, tutaona ni namna gani tutadeal na nyinyi mtazamaji wangu so uh, tupe moni yako kwa chini kwenye sehemu ya comments uh, lakini kikubwa zaidi ni subscribe kama hauja subscribe kwa ajili ya kuendelea kupata taarifa nyingi na mpya kila wakati tukutane kwenye video ambayo inafuata bye bye